Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just um, like a casual haul video. I'm actually sitting on the floor, which is why this angle is really weird and it's nighttime, so <laughs> the lighting is terrible. But I actually am using my ring light that I just got from Amazon. It's like a mini one. Um, yeah, so I hope it's not too bad. I mean, it could be worse, I guess. But I wanted to get this haul up, hopefully, before Valentine's Day, because I got some pretty cute things. And, yeah, I got a Sephora order in the mail today. So I just want to show you guys what I have, because usually, like, I wait to, like, accumulate things, and then my haul videos are way too long, and... I look like a shopaholic, <laughs> so uh, yeah, maybe it's better to do them like this. I'll do the Valentine stuff first because it's more like decor type things. So let me get the bag. So the first thing, oh by the way, I went to HomeSense, which is also winners. <laughs> well, the one I went to, and I was actually pleasantly surprised at things they had for Valentine's Day because the stores have been closed here and they just reopened so I'm surprised they actually had like new stuff in stock um actually I also went to Marshall's so these first things I think I got at Marshall's anyway it's like all the same store <sighs> I'm out of breath <laughs> I got this really cute mug it says pizza is my valentine and I just really liked how it looked. It has little pizza slices on it. It was just super cute and I think it was only like $4.99 which is pretty good for like a big mug like this and it's like nice quality. So this is my new like February mug because I like to have mugs for like different seasons. So yeah, I got this. But I also got another one. I didn't even show this to Josh because he always complains that I buy too many mugs. <laughs> but this one I had to get also. It's um, like a Ray Dunn mug, but it's actually like one of these insulated kind of mugs. And it just says love and I thought like it's cute like even when it's not Valentine's Day. So I got this. And I also wanted to get it because I've been making matches. I'm really not that good at it. I don't know. I have to practice, but um, I was thinking I'd like to make them iced because I'm not sure how I feel about the taste of some of the flavors when they're hot. I don't know. I got like a pack of different ones from David's Tea and most of them were good, but some of them I was like, okay. But I thought I could make like matcha lattes and put them in here with ice and like have this at my desk. So yeah, that's an idea. I don't even know if you can put like, is this for hot and cold? I have no idea. Um, also, these Ray Dunn things are getting way too expensive. This was $14.99 and this one was $4.99. So yeah that's because of all of you dun hunters out there on pinterest <laughs> but yeah i thought it was really cute and i love the ray dun font it just looks like it gives me like a nice like farmhouse simple vibe so yeah those are my mugs i also went a little crazy on the headband um i'm actually wearing one now I don't know if you can see but it, it's like a silky material that's like all ruffled um, and it came actually in a set with this one which is a really cute pink velvety one and I also found this set which is a pearl headband with like a nice blush pink um, these ones with like the knot here which I really like this was $9.99, that was, I don't know, that could have been cheaper, because I think these two were $7.99, so actually I thought it was the same price until now, but yeah, I got this. Um, this brand, Zoe Ayla, I don't know if you can even see that, um, 
I like a lot of things from that brand, but I I don't know if it's like only at Winners and Home Sense and stuff like that. I have no idea, but it's really nice quality. Um, then I saw these and I was like, well, I have to get that. <laughs> uh, these are a two-piece kitchen towel set. So yeah, I'm going to put these in the kitchen and I got them because of the gray cat. Because if you guys didn't know, I have a gray cat. So I get like anything with gray cats on it. <laughs> but also these are really cute. And I really like um, this kind of material for like kitchen towels. I know you can't really tell what I'm talking about, but it's like, you know, it's like towel-y actually, and not just like you wipe your hands on it and it doesn't dry anything. These ones are actually good. And there's a set of two and they're both the same, which I also like. Cause sometimes these sets, like one towel is all nice and cute and decorated, but the other one is just like a solid color and you're like, well, that's boring. But um, yeah, so this was $9.99 from HomeSense. Um, but then I also had to get some for the bathroom. So I got these. <laughs> these are also like gray and pink. Um, and there's t a set of two and a third one, which is this cute pink one. These are technically also for the, yeah, for the kitchen, three kitchen towels. But I'm gonna put them in the bathroom because these are like that thicker towel material. So I think it looks really cute. Right now I just have like boring white towels. So I'm gonna put these and I'll just keep them like all month long. It doesn't just have to be for Valentine's Day. Um, and then I just saw these at the cash and I thought they were really cute and also sounded delicious. These are chocolates. I got um, a creamy dark chocolate assortment and a milk chocolate assortment. And they're this brand Truffle Pig. I don't think I've ever tried them before. But they're actually, like, every chocolate is a different flavor. That's why I got them. These were $4.99, which is not bad. But I'm going to bring these to my mom uh, for Valentine's Day. Well, they're also for me, but to have there. Because <laughs> my mom doesn't eat chocolate. But my stepdad does, so, yeah. I got those. Um, oh, I also got one of those headbands for my mom. Cause she always sees mine and she's like, I wish I had one of those. So I got her one, but I'm not going to show you because she might see it in this video. Um, yeah, but that's all the stuff I got at Winner, no, no, Home Sense and Marshalls. So I also have some BoxyCharm things that I'll just show you quickly because I'm supposed to get my like this month's boxy charm. I thought it was coming today and I was actually gonna do like a try on haul in this video, but of course it didn't come on time like everything I ever order. So <laughs> I'll show you the one from last month because I still haven't showed you that one. So yeah, this stuff is not like Valentine's Day themed, but whatever. This was the boxy charm fresh start. This one here, so it's from January. <laughs> I always forget like what day it is. I don't even know what month it is half the time. So yeah, I got this. This Apple and Balm Glow Lip Mask, which I'm very excited about because I saw Kathleen Lights um, also got this in her BoxyCharm and she said, it smelled delicious. This is what it looks like. Yeah, see with ring lights, you can't see anything. It's just in a, like a squeezy tube, but I don't want to open it because I already have so many lip products open to use up. If you saw, actually you won't have seen that yet. My lip product video is coming and <laughs> that video took me like 
two days to edit and it's only showing you lip products and I'm kind of embarrassed about how many lip products I have. I'm gonna have to do like a declutter or something. But anyway, so I got that. I also got this, which I really like the packaging of. This is a eyeliner duo. It has a liquid eyeliner and like a gel liner. It's just black, but it's always good to have. Um, oh, it looks really cute though. It has dragons on it. Have I even not opened this until now? <laughs> I guess not. If you can see, so this is the liquid liner. It's um, one of these, like a felt tip, if I'm not mistaken. And then there's just like a gel liner, like crayon type. But like this kind, where it's like the Urban Decay ones, I am assuming. But again, I don't want to touch it yet. So I'll make sure the caps are on really good so they don't dry out. This is by the brand. Is that the same brand? No. I've never heard of this before. Oh, that lip mask was $25 for that lip mask, apparently. And it's by the brand Seraphine Botanicals. And this is by the brand Queen Studio. It's called the Dragon Duo. And this is $28. Okay, that's expensive. And those are American prices, by the way. So they would be even more in Canadian. But the most exciting thing in this box... Oh, I also got the Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner, but it's already like put away in my skincare drawer in my bathroom. And I'm really excited about it because that's Tara Baby's like favorite toner, at least right now. So it's probably really good. But this was what excited me the most. This is a Violet Voss palette called All of You Forever. And you guessed it, there's olive tones <laughs> in this palette. And I really liked my Violet Boss Coral Crush palette, if you didn't see that video. I was really impressed with that palette, so I hope this is the same kind of formula. So this is the packaging, the box. It's a cardboard palette. But look at these colors. That looks so pretty. I love these like greens. There's like shimmery greens. There is actually no matte green in this palette, but that's okay. The mattes that are in here are like these more like berry. Well, not really berry. I guess they're like burgundy tones but yeah this looks really nice and I am very excited to try this out so that was really good and this is $34 and the toner is $28 last thing was this pure 4-in-1 tinted moisturizer so <laughs> I got this like right after I just bought the Tarte tinted hydrator so now I have two kind of the same type products but I don't know anything about this and there's SPF 20 in here which is really good I have this shade LG3 I think that's the shade so yeah I'm into this kind of product right now so I'll have to test this in like a new makeup video before I go into my Sephora order. I just got one thing at the drugstore. I saw everyone talking about these, so I had to have it. It's the Physician's Formula Diamond Plumper. It's these new um, like plumping lip, plumping lip glosses. And I've only smelled this so far. And it smells definitely like it has that ingredient in it that plumps your lips, like the um, the buxom lip glosses. So I'm sure it's like tingly, but it's not like minty or anything. So this is the color. 
I don't know how many colors there are, but the store that I went to, they only had two. This one, which is pink, pink radiant cut. And the other one was clear. So I already have so many clear glosses. So I wanted to get this one. Um, yeah, I just really like this packaging also. Although I don't feel like it fits the mineral wear like line from Physician's Formula because it's very like everything else is like white and green and like organic and then they came out with this crazy thing so that's a bit strange but yeah I just wanted to try this out and see how it compares to like the buxom ones and everything and this was like $12 because I didn't get it on sale but anyway, now I have just a little Sephora order and actually it's kind of exciting because I got this. So they're having like a Lunar New Year? Yes, Lunar New Year, <laughs> like a promo. So I got uh, this bag that's full of samples and I was like, oh, just like put it on the tab. But this is like the best bag of samples I ever got from Sephora. Because first of all, there's this Jo Malone cologne in wood sage and sea salt. And this smells amazing. I love this kind of scent. And this is like a good size too for Jo Malone, which is like really expensive. So like this whole thing, like this is worth this whole bag alone. So I got that. Um, I also got an Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Multi Recovery Complex. This here. This is like a really popular product, I believe. Let me see what it looks like. I think I tried this already. Oh yeah, I have, I think I have another one of these. So maybe I'll give this to my mom. Um, so there was that one. There was a Shiseido, uh, Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. I know I like this because I've had one of these before. So this is like something you use like as a serum. So that's exciting. Oh, uh, also a Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil, which is also very expensive <laughs> um it's a little one like this but these like skincare samples will last you forever skincare samples are so good because you don't use like a lot of skincare at a time so you can actually like get a full you like you can try it more than once and know if you actually like it or not um, and this is a Tom Ford lip color. Obviously it's a mini size, but even like the minis are expensive. So this came for free and the color is beautiful. It's like this, um, nice deeper red shade. What is this? Scarlet Rouge. So this, also very excited to have got for free. I didn't even know what was in this bag. That's why I'm so excited because um, when you added it to your cart on Sephora, the picture was like tiny, so I couldn't see what anything really was. So when I got it, I was like, wow. And this is like the last like deluxe kind of sample. It's the La Mer. Um, the moisturizing soft cream, which is like super famous. So there's this, and then there's two. Actually, I was gonna call this a foil sample, but it's actually um, eye masks. So that's really good. I love eye masks. This is from Arnold Laszlo. It's the multitask eye serum mask. Very excited about that. And this also sounds great and this is just like a foil sample this is the Kerastase Nutritive 8 hour magic night serum 
It's an overnight nourishing serum for your hair. I've never heard of like a night serum for your hair before. And it's for dry hair, which is what I have. So I'm definitely going to use this very soon. I just washed my hair today, so I won't use it today, but yeah. So I love this and it came in this cute little bag. So if you guys intend on buying anything at Sephora, because I, I do think you have to spend $88 to get this, but I used my points to get $10 off. So yeah, it was just a good like shopping deal all around. So yeah, that was just my little sample bag that I wanted to show you. But they still have these as far as I know. So yeah, if you want to buy anything at Sephora, maybe check that out. And so here's what I actually bought. Um, so I told you guys in another video that I was really excited about the new Rare Beauty products. So I got them. So I'm gonna do a video just on these. I got the um, stay, Vul stay Vulnerable <laughs> Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush in the shade Nearly Apricot. Can you see this at all? Not really. Um, this packaging is amazing. Look at this. It's like a little cute compact. And this is what the blush looks like. I love this kind of shade. So yeah, I'm gonna do a video on the whole like monochromatic look because I got every product in the same shade, which is nearly apricot. So I'll do a look like that. I'm very excited about it. But in this video, I just wanted to show you that I, I got this. So I also got the Nearly Apricot Stay Vulnerable Liquid Eyeshadow, which I am excited to try. So this is like the same kind of packaging as their lip balm. It's flat on one end, so it doesn't like roll off the table. Um, they thought of everything, this brand. It's amazing. So this is the eyeshadow. Looks really pretty. And I saw a lot of people demoing these already and everyone says like how easy it is to apply so I'm really happy about that because I don't think I have any well I have actually one liquid eyeshadow from Too Faced but I haven't used it yet so I don't have like any experience with like matte liquid eyeshadows if you know what I mean like ones that you apply and then you blend so I'm excited to try that. And then I also got the Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm in Nearly Apricot. And this looks really pretty. So the same kind of packaging that's flat on one side. But this is the color, it looks really pretty. I really wanna try this, but I already have lipstick on, so that's not gonna be a good test, but yeah. I'm happy that I have these and now I can do that video and it's probably going to be maybe it's going to be a full face of Rare Beauty because the primer and the foundation are in my shop my stash this month I'm actually wearing them now I still don't know if I like this foundation it's driving me crazy actually because when I first put it on it it looks really terrible honestly <laughs> but then like a few minutes later it looks good so I don't know like even right now it looks okay and I'm not sure if it looks bad because I'm using new products uh, I'm using a retinol like I mentioned in another video and like a vitamin c cream so I don't know if that's the issue but anyway so I might try that again in that video, but I think that's, oh no, that's not it. There's one more thing. Um, these were on sale, so I just threw it in my cart. <laughs> um, this is the Melt Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade 710. This is the packaging, very cute. 
Um, but this lipstick has been on my loves list for years, or at least like since it came out. It's this like Dijon shade, and I'm very excited to see what this looks like. I hope it looks good on me. Um, yeah, so I finally just got this because these were 50% off, and they still are right now, I'm pretty sure. And today they just set, they have another sale going today, which I wish I would have waited for, but I was a little worried that the Rare Beauty products would go out of stock because that's what happened to me like when they first launched. But yeah, so that's it for this little haul. Um, yeah, hopefully, like I said, I get it up before Valentine's Day because there's some Valentine's stuff in here. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you like this video. I know it's like really bad lighting and a bad angle, but I hope you liked it anyway. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!